Our group in the Optical Sciences Division at NRL is very interested in LiDAR applications. Now LiDAR uses a pulsed laser beam to obtain very precise range information, sometimes to the centimeter level of accuracy, that can generate detailed topographical mappings that are used by municipalities, or uh, the military uses it for reconnaissance and surveillance and mission planning purposes, also has applications to disaster relief. Now there's another variation of, of LiDAR called foliage penetrating LiDAR, or FOPEN for short, where it can be used to reveal detailed three-dimensional images of objects that are hidden behind a partial obscuration, such as a tree canopy. But as you can imagine, it can be a very inefficient process. You know, most of the light from the laser is going to hit the leaves and very little of it is going to go through the holes between the leaves here in the tree canopy. In some cases it won't work at all. In other cases you may need a much more powerful laser or to take a, a long exposure or multiple exposures to get enough light to be useful. Now imagine if you can think of a way to reshape the laser beam so now all the light only goes through the holes and none of it hits the leaves. Uh, for instance, think of an array of uh, narrow beamlets that are targeted to only go through those holes. Well, it turns out in our laboratory we're investigating a technique called optical phase conjugation. It's a digital holographic technique that does just that. We are now able to put most of that light on the hidden object and the foliage penetrating image is much stronger and much more efficient. Now the way optical phase conjugation works in this case is to use a special high-speed camera with a nanosecond shutter to take an image of this very weak light coming through the holes in the leaves. We delay it slightly so that we're only measuring light or responding to light that comes from the more distant object and not from the closer leaves. That is used to create a hologram of that object, and that hologram is then imprinted on a device called a spatial light modulator. Think of a, an electronic version of a photographic negative. We illuminate the spatial light modulator with a strong laser beam, and that generates a accurate three-dimensional holographic image of that object, but it projects it right back on the object itself. And this is our desired result, because now all of the light is going back to the object. Depending on the denseness of the tree canopy, we can get orders of magnitude more light on the object and have a much better chance of getting a good foliage penetrating image. It turns out that optical phase conjugation has other uses as well. In our laboratory, we're using it to image through dense fog or murky water or to enhance laser communications. Other researchers are using it for biological purposes, for microscopy. It's a rapidly growing field, it's very exciting, and we really look forward to continuing our work in this area.